please welcome Sally. Thank you. Thank you. So fifth place. Hello. Amazing. Are you happy with that? I'm very happy. I mean, just to have been a finalist, uh, you know, yeah. beyond my dreams. Yeah. Beyond my dreams. Um, you were you were really surprised that you were saved against Hardy the other night. Um, I you was. You seemed quite shocked. Well, I, you know, if you look at the law of averages there, I mean, he was saved every week. Yeah. And, um, yeah. You thought the destroyer would take you out? <laughs> <laughs> um, we, saw, we, saw you, um, we saw you predict that you'd come third. Yeah. Sally, what happened? Prediction wrong. Prediction. Numbers are not your thing, numbers are they? Are, numbers are not my thing, no, <laughs> no, no. Obviously not, not in the house anyway. Um, speaking of predictions, you predicted quite early on that a female would walk quite early mm. in the series. Um, I can tell you that a female walked two hours before we went on air. Oh, wow. So that prediction was right. She got one right, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Stormy Daniels was meant to go in the house, but then she did a U-turn back down the drive and mm. into Bournemouth High Street. Um, one thing we would like to look at with you is some of your predictions in the house. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Call me psychic, big brother. Is this your uncle that's in spirit? No, he's alive. He's alive. Is she a girlfriend? No, it's my brother's mum. Oh, it's your brother's mum. Someone's going to be crying in a minute. For... Oh, 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 oh. Come, give me a cuddle. Hardy will leave tonight. Well, the first housemate is Natalie. As uh, somebody that is sensitive to picking up energy, I do think it could be Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> I'm going to have to use my psychic powers again. Oh, no! Why me? Because you're the only mystic in the room. Diana. That's mad that you met her. I know. Do you see it coming? Yeah, I, I predicted something the year before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that she's like, I don't care if I got any predictions wrong. Look at my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. Look at the state of me, no makeup. Yeah. Um, how did you find the whole, the whole situation? Like, what did you think of Big Brother? Oh, I think it's amazing psychological experiment. I mean, there's. I found it life changing for me. I mean, the way that I think about things now, and it's um, it, it's very tough in there. Mm. And I don't think anyone, no one can appreciate it unless you go and do it. Yeah. Because you're put in there with, you know, people perhaps you would never ever choose to be with, especially spend the night with and yeah. be in the same room. You Seriously, you are with that person 24-7. Yeah. And uh, I would have, I would like to think that I'm a person that sits back, sits back and watches things happen. But there are some situations where I felt I needed to put my pen in, there's no mm. doubt about that. Um, let's talk about Hardeep, because kind of right from the get-go, it seemed that the two of you just couldn't gel. Well, I think that Hardeep is a person that has his own view on things. He's obviously uh, an in incredible intellectual. He's an intelligent man. He, I mean, he even spoke about the girls that he dates, you know, they are professors or they're dons or they're... They've got all these different um, uh, qualifications. So very, very early on, you, you got a feeling of the sort of person that he really likes to be around. Mm. And so therefore, you also got a feeling of the people that he found very boring and he was just basically tolerating. And I felt very much right from the word go, he was tolerating me, but not necessarily in a good way. I know he's sitting out there. I know he's out there because I saw him. But the, you know, at the he's end, right there, right there. Yeah. But at the end, at the end of the day, at the end, he will, he will definitely have something to say about it, and he will give you a lovely, convoluted, what he would call intellectual reply to that. But at the end of the day, I am who I am. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I speak very plainly. He was very positive about you, though, in his interviews. Well, that's, that you're a, you're that's a very. very oh well, he apologised to me, but you know, sometimes apologies, um, as far as I'm concerned, need to come from the heart and not necessarily from the head. And I think that it would have been nice to have really felt when he apologised to me, he really meant it. And I don't think his apology to me was sincere. Are, are you talking about the incident that happened on Friday? Yeah, I am. OK. Um, do you think that in 
different circumstances, maybe when you're not in such a pressurised situation and maybe there's not a bunch of people there getting involved and you know, you're away from cameras, that the two of you could sit down and maybe understand each other's points um, of view? Well, I think people getting involved, they were there, I felt, as a support system for me. They felt just as strongly about the situation as I did. Right. It was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. And, you know, you're in such a closed environment there. That what, what he said, what he basically accused me of, it, could, it can ruin a person. You can't do that. You, you cannot do that. I think that I think maybe that is why Ryan was very quick to support you because you had been so quick to support him with the Roxanne situation, and I think he felt it was a similar situation maybe mm. than he'd found himself and, and in. And I and I had no idea. Seriously, you can ask my family. I don't lose it like I did. It really. Yeah. It was like someone had punched me in the stomach. Mm. I felt. Physically they are complicated sick. situations and they do divide opinion. What we would really quickly like to show you yep. is, is the um, incident between Ryan and Roxanne because I know you thought you were asleep when it happened, but just take a quick look. Ryan, um, yeah. I've got do a clean want... towel. I, my clean, I've got a little what? towel that I'm going to use. Woman beater. Go on, Bloody what? Earth. Did it, sorry. I was going to ask if you want your washing on, but I might shrink them instead. I might shrink them. So that's it. You I didn't stood see there. that. I didn't see that incident. You were stood right there. That's that's what I mean. I it, didn't know. Well, it was must have been. I certainly. Yeah. If if that had been someone that was that was deliberately wanting to hurt yeah. Yeah. a woman in front of me, another, I would yeah. have. But obviously, I, seriously, I haven't seen that before. Absolutely. Well, no, I know you haven't seen it. We wanted to show you because it was obviously made into a big situation in the house. And she said that, you know, and, and, sh and showed people how he went at her. But that was it. Like, well, I said that too. I said, if he had hit you at where he meant it, yeah. Big Brother would have him out like that. It seems that it was such a non-event for you that you didn't even notice it happening. I didn't notice yeah. it happening. But yeah. she should never, ever have accused him yeah. of doing that. 100%. And you will find out everything that's happened really? once you get out of... Once you get out of here and, and you talk to Ryan's family, yeah. Um, thank you, I've got to say, for introducing us to the one-eared elephant. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he looks so innocent. I can't believe he does that. Um, Sally... Well, he doesn't anymore. He used to. <laughs> <laughs> Sally.